Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we, we beseech, beseech you, O Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, Grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garments. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for Dominican Vocations Lord Jesus Christ, your love for St. Dominic inspires us now to implore your help and seek your intercession for all the Dominicans in the Philippines and the whole world. In confidence, we ask you to strengthen them with the virtues of chastity, poverty, and obedience, that they may live with one mind and heart. Lead to the order, men and women, willing to live and preach the truth of the Gospel, after the example of St. Dominic, and mercifully grant that we may all be moved with a zeal for your glory in saving souls and become partakers of your crown in heaven. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the feast day of St. Martin de Porres, friar and religious. Martin de Porres was born in Lima, Peru in 1579 of John, a Spanish nobleman, and Ana Velasquez, a freed slave. As a boy, he studied medicine, which later, as a member of the order, he put to good use in helping the poor. Martin was received as a servant at the Priory of the Holy Rosary in Lima, where he was finally admitted to profession as a cooperator brother in 1603. In his life of prayer, Martin was especially devoted to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Passion of our Lord. He was noted for his care of the poor and the sick. He died at Lima on November 3, 1639. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. Come, let us worship Christ the poor, who always loved the poor. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the seed belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, There are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who always loved the poor. Please be 
seated. My soul clings to you, O Lord, that your spirit may dwell in me. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be lifted, will fill as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night. For you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Acclaim the Lord, who with heavenly gifts has shown mercy to Martin, his humble servant. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Let all peoples, nations, and tongues praise the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Please stand.
Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Loving God, you led St. Martin de Porres to the glory of heaven by the path of humility. May we follow his splendid example and so be raised on high with him. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, This is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless clothing the naked when you see them, and are turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer, you shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in darkness and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty even on the parched land. He will renew your strength and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fails. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The eyes of all who look hopefully to you and give and you give them their food in due season. The eyes of all look hopefully to you and you give them their food in due season. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. To make known to people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. Please stand. Hallelujah, 
ako sa iyo mga salita Aleluya 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Glory to you, O Lord. On one occasion, a lawyer stood up to pose this problem to Jesus. Teacher, what must I do to inherit everlasting life? Jesus answered him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He replied, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you shall live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, there was a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho who fell in with robbers. They stripped him, beat him, and then went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. He saw him, but continued on. Likewise, there was a Levite who came the same way. He saw him and went on. But a Samaritan who was journeying along came upon him and was moved to pity at the sight. He approached him and dressed his wounds, pouring in oil and wine as a means to heal. He then hoisted him on his own beast and brought him to an inn where he cared for him. The next day he took out two silver pieces and gave them to the innkeeper with the request, Look after him, and if there is any further expense, I will repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the man who fell in with the robbers? The answer came, The one who treated him with compassion. Jesus said to him, Then go and do the same. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mayroong kasabihan sa wikang Latin. Vita bonorum viva lexio. Nang ibig sabihin ay ang buhay ng mga mabubuti o di kaya ang buhay ng mga santo ay isang buhay na pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos. It's a living proclamation. And today, we celebrate the, the feast of a saint whose life exemplified a living proclamation of God's word. Yan ay si San Martin de Porres. Kung inyong makikita yung imahen dito sa kanang bahagi ninyo, yan po si San Martin de Porres. Isa pong Dominican na cooperator brother. Hindi po siya pare. At sa tuwing nakikita ko ang kanyang imahen o yung iba niya mga larawan, tatlong bagay yung aking napapansin sa kanya. Una, yung kanyang kulay. Pangalawa, kadalasan may hawak siyang walis. Pangatlo, bukod sa walis, mayroon din siyang daladalang tinapay. Ang kulay niya, ang walis at ang tinapay. Yung kulay ni San Martin ay kapansin-pansin dahil hindi tulad ng ibang mga santo na kay puputi, siya ay maitim. Ito ay dahil siya ay pinaghalong Espanyol at lahing itin. Kaya nga't ganyan ang kanyang kulay. And what is so significant about that, his color, is that 
it makes him so accessible. It somehow presents him as a saint for all. Hindi siya iyong isang santong nasa itaas, katulad ng mga artistang kay, kay lilinis ng kutis, kay puputi. Pero he has the color of an ordinary person. Na para bang sinasabi sa atin na tingnan mo ang kulay ko. Ordinaryo ako, pero naging santo ako. Yung pangalawang napapansin ko sa kanya, yung hawak niyang walis, nung siya ay nabubuhay, napakasipag ni San Martin. Dahil nais niyang maglingkod sa simbahan, pumunta siya doon sa kumbento ng mga Dominiko para manilbihan. At doon ay walang sawa siyang nagsisilbi sa kanya at yun yung sumisimbolo, sinisimbolo ng walis. And this broom symbolizes the obedience of St. Martin de Porres. Wala sa kanya kung mababang trabaho sa tingin na iba yung ginagawa niya. Basta ang mahalaga sa kanya, magawa niya yun at magawa niya ng mabuti. At yung pangatlo na nakikita natin sa kanyang imahin ay yung tinapay. Dahil bukod sa pagiging masipag niya at pagiging masunurin, si San Martin ay isang taong punong-puno ng pagmamahal. He was a person of charity. Kapag may nakikita siyang taong nangangailangan, tinutulungan niya. Kapag may taong nagugutom, pinapakain niya. Minsan nga may pagkakataon na yung kumbento nila, nagulat yung mga ibang Dominiko. Bakit ang daming tao dito sa ating kumbento? Mas marami pa sa mga priling nakatira doon. Ito'y dahil pinapasok silang lahat ni San Martin dahil yung mga taong yun ay nangangailangan ng tulong. Yung mga taong yun ay nangangailangan ng pagkalinga at nagugutom sila. Kaya pinapasok niya sila para sila ay kanyang tulungan. Maaring itinatanong sa kanya nung ibang tao, bakit mo ginagawa yan? At natitiya ko ang sinasabi lang ni San Martin, bakit hindi? Dahil para sa kanya ang paggawa ng tama, ang paggawa ng mabuti, ay hindi kinakailangang maghintay ng kung anumang posisyon o kung anumang utos. Kapag ito'y nakikita mong dapat gawin at tamang gawin, ginagawa ito ni San Martin. Kaya nga't napaka-akma nung ating ibanghelyong binasa sa araw na ito sa buhay ni San Martin de Porres. Dito sa ating ibanghelyo na basa natin yung tungkol sa tanong ng isang tao kay Jesus kung ano ang kailangan niyang gawin para magkamit ng buhay na walang hanggan. At sinabi lang ni Jesus, mahalin mo ang Diyos ng buo mong puso, isip, lakas, at ganun din mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa. At pagkatapos nun, ikinwento niya yung isang kwentong alam na alam nating lahat. Yung kwento ng mabuting Samaritano. At dito may kita natin, sa dinami-dami ng taong dumaan, may paring dumaan, mayroong isang Levitiko na dumaan, pero hindi nila tinulungan yung isang taong nilapastangan ng mga magnanakaw. Pero ang tumulong sa kanya ay yung isang Samaritano. Hindi niya kaano-ano. In fact, mayroon silang animosity. Pero tinulungan ng Samaritano. At maaring magtanong din yung mga taong iba. Bakit niya tinulungan? At siguro, hindi man niya sinabi, ang nasa puso ng Samaritano, bakit hindi? Bakit hindi ko tutulungan? Nangangailangan tong taong ito. Kailangan bang magkababayan kami pag, pag, bago ko siya tulungan? Kailangan bang magkasundo kami lagi bago ko siya tulungan? Hindi. Dahil ang pag-ibig at paggawa ng mabuti ay hindi kumikilala ng mga boundaries. Ang paggawa ng utos ng pag-ibig 
ay hindi nalilimitahan ng mga boundaries na sineset natin sa ating buhay. And that is also the principle of St. Martin de Porres. Whenever people would maybe ask, Why? He would simply ask in his heart, say in his heart, Why not? Hindi naman kinakailangan magkaroon ka pa ng mataas na posisyon o kung anumang kredibilidad para tumulong sa kapwa. Pero at that moment na nangangailangan ng tulong ay ibang tao, it is at that precise moment that we should give it. Kung minsan, bakit ba nahihinder yung mga tao na tumulong sa iba? Because when faced with that situation, halimbawa dito sa gospel, marahil at the back of their minds, yung paring dumaan, kaya hindi siya tumulong, sabi niya, bakit ako? Ganun din yung isa pang taong dumaan. Bakit ako? When we ask that question, bakit ako? It is a loaded question. Halimbawa, eh, pagagawin ka ng, ng magulang mo, maghugas ka ng plato, gawin mo ito. Minsan yung mga anak nag-aaway. Bakit ako? And that question is loaded. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng ibig sabihin nun, bakit ako ang gagawa niyan? Mas marami na akong ginagawa. O di kaya naman, bakit ako ang gagawa niyan? Nasyadong mababa yan para sa aking status. Bakit ako ang gagawa niyan? Hindi ko naman siya kaano-ano. So when we pose those questions, we are not being charitable because we separate the person from us. We think that they are lower than us and we think too highly of ourselves. But St. Martin wasn't like that. Para sa kanya, kay ano man yung trabaho, gagawin ko. Kay sino man yung tutulungan ko, tutulungan ko. Why? It's not because of who I am, but because that person needs my help. And this is an occasion for me to make him feel the love of God in his life. Kaya nga't hindi katakataka kung bakit si San Martin ay naging santo. He did not simply study the Word of God, but he lived the Word of God. And his life was a proclamation of the love of God. Let us now all stand. Let us praise Christ who gives power and strength to his people and let us entreat him with sincere hearts. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, the Vicar of Christ, that he may be sustained in faithful, in faith in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That concern about personal values will shine through whatever loss we need for our common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For orphans, widows, and those who suffer, may they discover us a revelation of God's tender love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For persons who are bitter and disillusioned because they feel that no one understands them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers in ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, for the intentions of this Mass, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that like St. Martin de Porres, we may become signs of God's presence to the sick, the poor, and the needy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Give us strength to bear our sufferings and hardships in the knowledge that we will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept our gifts on this feast of our brother Martin. As we celebrate the love of your Son, may we grow in love for you and for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give it thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts by their own way of life you offer us an example by communion with them you give us companionship by their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through christ our lord and so with the angels and archangels and with a great multitude of the saints as we sing the hymn of your praise without end we acclaim Oh, 
Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and the Glorious Martyrs, with Saint Martin de Forest, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Oh, my Lord, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said through apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of, the of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. <coughs> Blessed be the Lord who has set all nations free and has called us from darkness into light. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, who has set all nations free, and has called us from darkness into light. Let us pray the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of the infidelities he knows I still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow. For tomorrow is an excuse for the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that in reducing selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant heal. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me now and forever. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. Let us pray. Lord, we have been refreshed by these sacred mysteries. May we follow the example of our brother Martin, who loved you with unwearied devotion and served your people with boundless charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the... We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you have your rosaries and other religious articles with you, you may bring them out for the blessing. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, 
May these rosaries and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, 